A lot of things happened in the last few days. React 19 got released. Uh, React Router 7, which is basically Remix version 3, got released. Soul River Remaster got released. And I will be talking about at least two of those things today. If you've been following the React world in the last year or so, you might have heard about server components concept. It's a great thing in which every React component can be both asynchronous and rendered on the server. Right now, if you want to use asynchronous things, you have to rely on a suspense and control loading states. Or do you? The thing I will be talking here is very much experimental and I am not recommending using this on production. This is a pure POC. So I will be jumping to my IDE in which I have a fresh React Router 7 installation and I will see you there. All right, so as I've mentioned, I am in the fresh React Router 7 installation. Uh, I've run the dev server, which you can see in here, and that's basically it. I won't change almost anything. The one thing I want to do is to turn on pre-rendering, just because I believe this is a good thing to have, and because we will see how this works with the server components that we are about to uh, use. And if you don't know, pre-rendering is a technique known from static site generators like Gatsby and Astro. And instead of generating every response on the server on demand or serving it from cache or whatever, it simply generates an HTML page, which is then served statically from the, as a file. All right. So normally, if you want to fetch some data in react you have to do this asynchronously so you are putting a use effect or something like this or i don't know time stack query and you are displaying this loading sign and then fetch the data and render the data when it's available server rendering or pre-rendering means that user won't have to watch the spinner but will simply get the data instantaneously because it should be cat or something. So let's try for now just to create a asynchronous component. So let's create a new path named to do. Yeah, this is this is the time when on this channel I am creating a to do list. Uh, so how does one declare a server component? Well. Of course, we can export default, we can export names, whatever, but the key is the async keyword function to this. And return the to this. <laughs> right? So, this is a server component. It is characterized by the fact that it is asynchronous, so it shouldn't really render right so let's import this import to do this from to this to this and let's wrap this in fragment and let's it's here it renders but and this is the problem sometime uh, on, on the dev version, you will get this error that this is not supporting client components. This is because React Router doesn't really support server components. But it kind of works, right? Let's see the page source. This is to do's, right? So we need to copy this. And remember, the page source is what the server responds with. If you inspect this, this is the DOM tree. So this is changed multiple times over the course of the rendering. So if you want to see what the server responds and what users will see without JavaScript, this is this. And it's here. So this means that we can now do some fetching in here. Let's try. 
so let's de declare an interface to do uh, it will have a number of id user id uh, title and complete that as a boolean right and i will just create an async function get data that will return a promise of array of to do's and i will use json placeholder and i have this code right here so data await fetch this uh result await data json and return result uh it can be in line okay right so we have the asynchronous function that will fetch stuff for us right let's move this in here it will be more comfortable we we have this thing right now right so let's now await get data and if do this uh, length greater than zero so basically if something is there and if to do's are even defined we are returning uh ul list of oh no, so sorry uh to do's map to do key uh to do id yeah kind of can go like this i have some tiles prepared uh, which I will just copy and paste. And I have a style for the to do. So we will render it as strike through when the to do is completed. Uh, right, so to do title. Okay. And now let's try to refresh and we have some to do's in here already rendered it's 100 items but the error from react sometimes appears uh, this appears only on the dev version uh, and we have it here right but let's see here yeah we are basically killing the server so let's let's disable it for now because the problem is this is a synchronous component and simply our code does not know how to stabilize it so it refreshes it all the time uh, what we can do is we can simply cache the, this response as a space cache data to do uh, and empty array right and if cached data actually you know you can make it undefined it would be better if cached data return cached data otherwise do this and now comes the result await Cached data equals result return result right so right now if the cache will be present we will simply return this from here instead of making another request so let's try and get await get data right so right now we are getting some queries because it's executed before we can go and populate this but once we are we we do have this nothing changes uh, one thing is the error is in here and let's see it's 
it, ren it renders a few times, right? Right, so this, I haven't found a solution to this. Uh, React Router 7 does not respect uh, use client or use server directives. You can hear, right, use client, for example. But, you know, this is all the same. We can say use server, still the same. And of course, like I've mentioned, the dev version kind of is, let's say broken. I won't, you, I won't refrain from this word. Uh, we can build it though. And the build version is stable. Right, you can refresh this several times. It's pre rendered, by the way. And if we go to console, it's also clear because that was a dev development message. So we do have, uh, let's say, partial support for server components. And basically, that's it short and sweet uh, demonstration of how you can achieve having server components on your. React Router 7 application today. Highly experimental, highly unstable, but there it is. Server components are an amazing concept. React Router officially does not support it, but due to the fact that the layer between the React uh, library and the framework is so thin, there is an option to put it and use it right now. Do I recommend using it though? Frankly, no. It generates an error and isn't official. So it might break or it might change or it might simply stop working anytime. But it's a great thing to know. I am more than certain that we are literally steps away from having server component in React Router 7. This is the last video on this channel for the year. I will go on vacations most likely tomorrow or maybe even today, depends on how I manage my work. And I will be back on January. So using this occasion, I wish you all happy, lazy, and lengthy holidays and all that you wish for in the new year to come true. Merry Christmas, Merry Holidays and Happy Coding.